Hey guys, um, so today I was at work this morning and then we did a little shopping around Geneva and um, got some good raw snacks. Um, they sell like raw crackers and stuff which is really nice because um, if you're like me I get a salt craving every once in a while and it's nice to kind of just have something to munch on. Um, but today our my blog is going to be a new fruit so that's exciting. Um, we found these yesterday, and <laughs> Richie was like, those look like sea urchins. Sea urchins aren't very good. And I said they're in the fruit section, so they have to be fruit. So they're called Rambouten, and if you can see that in the spelling. And it says they're from Thailand, so I thought that was appropriate since um, that is going to be my new adventure in April. So basically, I did read up a little on these, and they are really weird looking. Look at that. They're like, they do look like sea urchins, but they're not. They're actually really closely related to the lychee, which I, or the lychee, or however you want to say it, which I ate um, not too long ago. They're a little bigger, and they're, um, it's not hair, but they look hairy. So let's just dig right in. And it is a hard shell. Um and thicker than the lychee was. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it all around. And actually, it is very surprisingly um, like the lychee. It's white on the inside. And, actually, and the pictures I looked up on the internet, the shell, which is kind of cool looking inside, um, was bright red. This one's more of a brown, which isn't quite as exciting, but here we go. It does taste almost identical to the lychee, though, if I were to pick one, I like this one a little bit better. It's more subtle. Um, lychees, the lychee have like a really strong taste, and although this kind of tastes like the lychee, it's uh, more mild, I suppose. And the, the stone inside, now they, again, are not the easiest things to eat, so that's unfortunate. So it's not something you would eat all the time. Because it's, like, not very easy. And then this, the outside of the pit kind of comes off with the flesh, so you get, like, a nutty kind of flavor because of it. Which isn't horrible. So yeah, like, again, they're not the easiest things to eat. It's not like picking up an apple, washing it off, and taking a bite. You have to actually sit down and take the time to do these. But they're, I mean, they're good. If you want to try, try out a new fruit, then these are pretty good. So there's your new fruit for today. And since this video is a little bit shorter than I usually do, um, I'll just have a talk to you a little bit because I'm now three weeks in to my vegan um, eating. And tomorrow's post is going to be my update on my measurements and things like that. So I just thought I would give a quick update on how I'm feeling, which is actually pretty... Fantastic. Um, I had to get up for work today. Didn't really have trouble getting out of bed, which was nice because usually it's like hell in a handbasket trying to get me out of bed. And then yesterday I didn't have to work and I thought, okay, well, if any day I'll sleep in this day. And my body woke up at 9.30. And was like, all right, you're not tired anymore. And I even tried to go back to sleep, which most of my family and such know me and know it is not hard for me to sleep. But I woke up and I was like, all right, I don't need to sleep anymore, which is progress. And that's about where I was at when I stopped 
the vegan thing last time, my, my 30 day challenge. So yeah, it's looking pretty good and my clothes are fitting different. Even Richie, my husband said to me the other day was like, your legs look thinner. And I was like, yes, because that's what I want to look thinner. So yeah, I'm really excited. And I had yoga on Thursday night and I'm still a little sore from it, which is great. I always like to be sore after I do some sort of physical activity. It makes me feel like I did something. So it was really nice. And I just thought I would give a little bit of an update about how I'm feeling and and um, how it's affecting everyday life. And I have so much more energy. Everybody knows that knows me knows I'm a, I was a slug. I really was. I, I would stay, and not that I don't do still sometimes stay in bed all day, but... I, I want to get up and do things, and um, I'm, I'm not tired all the time. I don't sleep for 11, 12, 13, 14 hours a night anymore. My body just has, has more energy, and so that's, I mean, that's huge for me. That's absolutely huge. So anyway, uh, I'll keep it short and uh, look out for my updates on measurements and such, and Maybe there'll even be some pictures tomorrow. We'll see how I'm feeling. But anyway, um, I will see you tomorrow then. Bye, guys.